Morning! Isn't that beautiful, eh? Look at this, Charlotte. Ashley's here. Charlotte? Good morning, Joe. You alright? <laughs> we are visiting today a farm with the AHDB. I'm just curiously walking over a, um, a cattle grid here. Um, in the outskirts of Thirsk, and honestly, it is absolutely beautiful around here. Um, but yeah, there's an export delegation coming from, oh, let me get in this car, all over the world. Um, I'll find out exactly what countries they've come from, but I think it's really far away. And they're looking at buying into British beef. So for some reason, the HDB have asked me and Charlotte to come along and um, see what it's all about. So yeah, let's let you know in a minute. When I said it was stunning here, I really, really meant it. It's beautiful. We're opening and shutting gates as we go along. It's absolutely lovely around here. It's a nice sheep. And over in the background there, got some cattle. You're getting away with everything here, aren't you? Hey, there's somebody in front opening the gate. I'm the one in the background shutting the gate, hey? Charlotte wants to sit on the wool. There's a lot of wool there, isn't there? That's a lot of wool. Yeah. I've, I've been here before, you know. Mm. Bought some cattle from here before. You snazzy. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? It's fancy. Yeah, I think they had cattle in here though last. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. To no, be fair didn't. though, I do like clear span. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is a very well kept twenty-eight fifty. Never mind that. Never mind that. Never mind that. Look at this. <laughs> Mr. B had been his element in that. <laughs> he would love that. Yeah, very nice. I used to have one of them. That, that's just like really well kept though, isn't it? It's original paint by the looks of it. Still got like a few scratches on this side where people get up. Fantastic. Duff coat in his new motor. It's a mobile coffee machine. It is. Nice, that. Oh, has he even got... That is good, that, isn't it? Morning, yeah, Emily, coffee. by the way. Good morning. <laughs> uh, coffee, please. He's like, um, Andrew needs to let, let this side down because... Oh! This is the, oh, this, this is, is the after party. This is the after party, is it? Teas and coffees of that side. <laughs> Fantastic. Is that not the coolest defender you've ever seen? I want Mr. B to uh, change his defender to this. Very good. Hopefully that drone footage gives you a bit of a, a an idea as to our surroundings. Like I said, absolutely fantastic, beautiful. What a way to show to international um, buyers of meat our British countryside, because this is fantastic here. Um, and also the, the facilities, if you saw the handling system, really, really good facilities um, on this farm for, um, for dealing with cattle and sheep as well. So we've got lots of sheep around here. So um, yeah, we're just uh, waiting for the delegates to turn up now. Oh, the bus has arrived with the delegates on. Very smart driver. Oh, 
Bond's arriving now, getting their stuff out of the bus. Um, to have a quick look around this farm, and well, not a quick look around, an in-depth look around this farm. Obviously, Emily's, Emily's just introduced uh, the people at the as well, yeah. so uh, we aren't going to do a lot of speaking. If, if you want to ask anything, just come and ask us. And, and all he's done, these uh, handouts with some bullet point uh, yeah. things on them, some answers, but you need to know. He works closely with, with Chris, meeting regularly um, to discuss the Hearn Lot Health and Performance. Um, we do that through uh, a health scheme, so there's, uh, we encourage that regular meet-up to, to review a book. So I want something that's been grass-fed, mainly, at least it's one season of grass, and then comes fed inside on concentrates after that. I don't want a very big animal anymore, size is a big problem for us, so anything under 400 kilos dead suits me, really. 260 kilos to 400 kilos. Welfare's a big issue with those consumers, so... We look at that, we monitor that, we have a lot of auditing going around, make sure everyone works to our protocols. You do a really good job here because yours grow well, don't they? You, yes, we've yeah. got to be careful that Chris doesn't get them ready before 12 months old because some of them are close to being 12 months when they're already ready. So we have to make sure that they're over that yeah, yeah, yeah. or we can't sell it as prime beef. But yeah, we're processing around 1,800 cattle a week, two different abattoirs, and uh, it goes all the way through from walking into retail packs. Supermarket. Just looking now at the fantastic handling system that they've got here. There's a camera crew here. Uh, jumping in this land, well, it's land Rover. I should know what this is called, but I, I, I don't. It's a gun bus, is it? It's a beast. I don't know what it actually is. It's a what? It's a V8? Yeah. V8 petrol? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Amazing. Land Rover 101. We found out what it is. Chris is letting us know. It's full. <laughs> that, v that V8's going to know about it, isn't it? <laughs> We're going to go. I was going to go in the bus, but. Um, Chris has said, oh, do you want to come and jump in the mule? And, you know, when somebody says that, yeah, I'm jumping in it. Yeah. Fired up. Right, we need to get in front. This three ain't quite easy, this, yeah, don't it? It's not so bad. Yeah. <laughs> We've got management tags in there. To to um, carve them down at two year old. So just, just over a year old on the big ball. Just yeah, trying to get a photo um, sorted out here. <laughs> For a drone. That's from Taiwan. Is that harps? Trying to catch it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, well done. Yeah, it's a really, really nice cat, yeah. Yeah. Charlotte's here. Looking in Ian's new Curtis car. I'm just looking now at the sheep. Everybody's got the camera out. Getting in these views. It's a great way to leave like a lasting impression of beef and sheep farming in the UK. And all these people are different corners of the world. A guy from the Philippines, um, I talked to someone from Canada, uh, Taiwan, America. Yeah, vast the, uh, the, the place that these guys have come from. Everyone round. We're off to the house now. Manicured garden we've got here. Oh wow, yeah. Yeah, so this is this is really gonna leave a, a lasting impression on them, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely so. Wow. 
What a place! And the view! Absolutely fantastic. I'm just going to leave the camera rolling on this. Usually I'd clip these little bits, but we're going to go past a uh, big horse walker in a second. What a lovely, lovely place. Seeing how, um, how difficult it is to get the information that HDB do to yeah. like these events for farmers and sort of the different carcasses that are the different carcass components that these people are wanting to buy. Yeah, yeah, very much so. Carcass balance is really important for us and particularly selecting markets for parts of the carcass that we as British consumers don't necessarily favour. Um, so yeah, really, really important to us and it's really interesting to understand how their consumers value different parts of the carcass, so it's a win-win. Yeah, that's what somebody, somebody talking about um, the, um, the tails that they um, cook in the Philippines and I think, well, I can't remember what else was there. Do you remember the Philippines? Yeah, yeah so awful tongue, you know. Yeah, tongue, yeah, yeah, tongue, yeah, 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 very yeah, popular, yeah. yeah, very, very popular. So, yeah. um, and like I say, that, you know, the work that HDB do, we, we particularly select markets where we're, we're using all parts of the carcass so that, you know, that we're getting as much value as we can for the, for the whole animal. Yeah. Yeah, really oh, good. No, it's great. Yeah, yeah, really good. I'm pleased you're enjoying it. How can you not when you come around here, eh? It's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, the smell from this V8 is uh, something else. Look at that for a cab, eh? Wow, how nice is it in here? Apple juices, oh, lovely. This is like house goals, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I feel terrible about myself all of a sudden. <laughs> photo of, well, not a photo, a picture drawing of the old house. Wow. Mount St. John's, you've got honey, apple juice, apple pear. The flower is beautiful. Sorry, I apologise. I've been getting in chance way now. Really should have had the drone up here, but I uh, haven't brought it with me, unfortunately. Look at this. They all look like they're tapped in them. Wow. Heaven. Ooh, Barb. Looking very good. Did you get the John Deere's in the fence in here then, Ollie? Chris, yeah? <laughs> is, that, yeah. yeah is, that, is that how you till it? <laughs> Some house. Wow. <laughs> the place is really something else. Really something else. Like them toilets in there, I've, I've never been in the toilets like that before in my life. Absolutely fantastic. It has a bar. Just what a way to entertain people. Absolutely fantastic. The walls previously, and done a lot of planting. The wall garden that you came through um, is sort of beyond organic in the sense that we don't use any chemicals at all. We do a lot of partner planting to try and attract some of the bugs that might be attracted to the fruit and vegetables we grow. We've got a hospitality business uh, with eight pubs and hotels, and all the produce from here goes into those. Um, we make our own apple juice. For the first time this year, we've made cider. We've started producing honey for the last few years. So that's sort of where we are. The other thing, um, as you go around, you'll see a few horses, so at any one stage we might have 150 horses and foals. We have about 50 foals each year here, all specialised in uh, dressage. Um, so we, we manage some of the paddocks uh, with cattle and sheep as well as horses, because horses are not great at grazing, so we, we need to tidy it up with them with some sheep and things. Um, I think as we were mentioning to a few people earlier on, We've, we, we're a bit lacking in rain at the moment. Uh, it's been very dry, particularly in June, uh, so we desperately need a little bit more rain. We've had a great first cut of silage, but we want to have a little bit of rain for the stock we've got out, and also for a second cut of silage, so we've got plenty for winter feed. We can do places in a horticultural sense, but also in a, a wider countryside management sense. 
and that's what we're working on and probably looking forward to in the future actually working on um, carbon grants within those woodlands. So a privilege to be asked to come here, like, you don't get to come to places like this, do you? Um, so thank you very much to everyone who watches the channel for allowing me to get invited to things like this. This is... I'm, I'm blown away with, with it, so surely these guys are. They, they'll not forget British beef and lamb when they've been somewhere here. Where, um, some of that place. Some bun. It's a boy's club. Very good. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm sorry for the uh, garden pictures overload here, but I just want to remember it all. House goals. These are just doing interviews with the delegates. Just getting these guys before they got to get off on the uh, on the coach, but um, yeah, if you just let us know where you're from and uh, yeah, yeah. I'm from Manila. I'm from Dubai. I'm from Taiwan. This place is very nice. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> yes. We like the place a lot. Philippines is the Latin American country in Asia. Yeah. So third biggest English speaking country. But for us, it's a treat. The weather, the whole weather mm. is a major treat for us here. I know you guys are asking, does it snow in England? I'm like, yeah, it does sort of snow a little bit. We get a bit excited about it. Yeah. Um, but yeah it's all like air conditioning, I guess, in your, your yeah. country. Oh, yeah. We run the air going to pull blast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Air conditioning yeah. is the key. Yeah. We don't need a heat, but we need an air So actually, yes. it's quite, kind of yeah. well, unbelievable here. You don't have air con. Yeah, no, nobody, nobody has it. Heaters yeah, over here. Yeah, yeah. yeah all these heaters. heaters over here. You know, come from places that need yeah. a lot of you work. You wouldn't dream of having a heater. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you bring heaters down to our place, we probably put suns at you. Yeah. But the main question: Do you think you'll be buying from Britain in with your meat? We are already buying. Yeah. We already, already asked the owner how much is it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. No, we're, we're, we're definitely we're buying already in the Philippines. We already experience a, or you experience already a 300% growth from our orders from year to year, right. from 21 to 22. In 23, should be more if you have the products available. Uh, question is availability. And one thing I want to say is, <coughs> what are you going to be taking back in your suitcase? I already know the answer to this, is because you told me earlier. Yeah, I'm taking here, huh? Apple juices <laughs> <laughs> and Bill Chards, of course, and Marks and Spencer. Marks and Spencer, that was it. Marks and Spencer. Me, <coughs> what? I will be the owner back. <laughs> <You're>, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Right. Pleasure Bye. to meet you guys. Bye. 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 The apricots, and then you see the peach, and then the fig. Oh my god, I need to go in here. Go in here. You can if you like. And no then you way. Get, I can't. <laughs> Stealing them. And then they can, <laughs> so we fleece them in winter, so they're protected, and then we pollinate them with sort of a rabbit's foot in spring. So a rabbit's foot? Yeah. Why Genuinely a rabbit's foot? A rabbit's foot. Um, the well, it's just... They're fine hairs or something. Because, yeah, really. And then wow. you're basically performing, because we have to have them undercover, you're performing the function of a pollinator like a, a bee. Uh, and there's a there's yeah. This is incredible. Yeah. So are they really susceptible to like birds and things just flying in and eating them? Is that why they're in a cage? They would be desecrated, I think, if yes, they did not want yeah, yeah. anything underneath them. Among oh. the peaches. So that, if there's any that are wrong. Look at these. Wow. Yeah, we're, 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 we're just too early. Damn. Yeah, it's fine. Natural, natural. Yeah, it's just a little bit oh <laughs> you guys are all in it as well now yeah <laughs> we've not got a way of getting back <laughs> oh no we're stuck in this terrible place <laughs> yeah we'll just we'll have to go in the swimming pool I'll just take this. yeah well that's what I was, this is what i was doing all this clip for mini merlot or kramer oh mini merlot all the time <laughs> don't you swear at me charlotte um left everybody behind Talk to the delegates and do a little like interview. Yeah, we, we, we were good, we were good. We were the ones talking to them all the time. We made friends. Yeah, I think people will buy beef and pork because we talked Because we were there. <laughs> I'm going to Taiwan. I know. Can I go? Yeah. Yeah, honestly, fantastic people. We're right, we're trying to get a lift back now to our cars so we can go to the pub. <laughs> Ollie's off. <laughs> Look at that! What a place! Look at that for a treehouse, eh? That is 
Gonna go down for lunch um, at the local pub. Is it? Is that what yeah. it is? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, I just wanted to say thank you to you guys for showing us around. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Making yeah. the place tidy, it looks yeah. Yeah. fantastic. Yeah. The cattle look great. It is. No oh, effort at all. No. <laughs> so yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Brilliant. Reminiscing on her track today, she used to have one of those and she loved it. She said. Also, an international 684 scraper tractor. It's a tidy scraper tractor, that, isn't it? That is a cool scraper. It is a very tidy scraper tractor. Yeah. It's quite big, though, isn't it, for a scraper tractor? Yeah, it probably is, actually, yeah. yeah. What do people think? What's your favourite of the classics? And then, favourite of them all? Do you like the Fent best? Or is it the 6430? Or maybe one of these classics? This who owns um, the house and the farm that we've just been looking around also owns... Um, a chain of pubs, one of them being the Carpenter's Arms here at Felix Kirk. So we're going to go and have something to eat in there. Um, it looks really nice. It must be busy because literally the car park is jam-packed, but um, they've managed to get us in for our lunch, which is uh, fantastic. The gardener's fetching flowers over. <laughs> oh, well, if you're, yeah, if you're offering. <laughs> You know where they're going to come from, don't you? Yeah, I do. We've just been there. Beautiful? Yeah, look, look. Oh, yeah. Very nice. I'm, I'm going to have that, you know. Uh, I'm not going to eat. In fact, I'm going to take some. I'm going to buy some now. Don't, need, don't say take. No, I'm going to buy it. <laughs> Six pounds a jar now. Of course I'm going to buy it. <laughs> Be nice. Um, pub with, I'm guessing, some accommodation as well. I'm going to film now. <laughs> We're all going to go home now. We'll yes. get some honey. Yeah, yeah although it's sold out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, we've got, what are these? Got Becky a present. We've got Becky a present. From the garden. Charlotte needed three. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway. What are going to make with yours? Uh, I'm going to make something really, maybe buttered. Um, garlic in them. Oh, yes, I can just that see it That sounds nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I can't imagine. Fritters. Yeah, supposed oh, yeah. to be nice. They are meant to well, be like really nice. Well, like do them in the oven or in like a fryer or... You have to kind of add a lot, quite a lot to a courgette to make it taste of anything. Right. I think you can put them in like the air fryer. Oh, oh can you? Them, yeah, and have them. Oh, Welcome oh, to the Joe Seals topper. Cookery Channel, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Instead <laughs> of perking, it could be like a burger topper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. What an idea. Anyway, the reason I've done this little clip is because it's getting really long, this video, and um, I'm extending it even further now. Like and subscribe. Check out Charlotte's channel. You're going to have a channel, Emily. Yeah. Yeah, come, and gonna... see, come and see Emily about the AHDB. Yeah, you have to yeah. tell you all about it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, beef and lamb. Woo. Subscribe Woo. to beef and lamb. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, here we go. Yeah. On yeah. brand beef and lamb. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Right. Bye. Bye. You got to wave. Before I leave here, um, Felix Kirk and uh, the Carpenter's Arms, I think it's called, uh, I just wanted to say a um, bit more serious note how much these people were importing. So the guys in the Philippines were importing... 850,000 tons of pork. Um, I can't remember how many hundred thousand tons of chicken and beef. And then there were um, a lot of, um, there were a guy from Canada wanting um, a lot of lamb um, on a halal scheme. And um, same with the guys from like the UAE and the Middle East. So the market is massive and the HDB are tapping into that. They're sorting out health certificates um, and they're bringing them people to the um, suppliers, so the processors basically, and joining them together so that they can talk and do business. And that's all facilitated by the AHDB. Um, they also do export conferences and things. There's one in um, Germany called Anuga. It's a big food and um, food and drink event where the HDB will attend and meet people like that and trying to sell British products and balance the carcass. So 
we can easily sell steaks and things like that in this country but things like trotters and offal very difficult for um for uh, processors to sell that to the uk market basically but over in the philippines over in dubai they've got a different um consumer or wants to buy different things completely to what we want to buy here and what we value here so um yeah it sounds like they definitely want to do business with us and they really like the environmental credentials of the of british meat and welfare standards and things like that so i mean look at the guy from the philippines he literally is filling his bag with max and spencer's stuff to take home like He's got Max and Spencer's in the Philippines, but he wants to fill his bag to take it home because he can't believe how cheap it is compared to obviously Max and Spencer's in the Philippines. I'm guessing he charges a fortune, but um, yeah, that's his main main thing, which just blew my mind. That's why I asked him about the uh, the bag in there. But anyway, I'm rambling on. I just wanted to put that piece in because um, I felt like we'd done a bit laughy jokey um, video, and I've had a really really great time. But I want to just tell you all about the serious side to it and put it at the end of the video where people um yeah if people don't want to listen to me being serious then then you could have switched off but um, yeah thanks for watching and i'm gonna get back on my way to south yorkshire now and um yeah we'll see you tomorrow business bye